Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and today we're taking a look at Gamora from Marvel United. And, uh, yeah, Gamora's become one of the uh, trickiest pieces to get because she came in the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, remix pack, but she was the Kickstarter exclusive. So, uh, my encouragement here is if you like uh, what's here, feel free to proxy her. Uh, but I wanted to go through her. Uh, here because I, I think she's a, a good character, an interesting character. She's got uh, four movement symbols. She's got three heroics and seven punches. So that makes her, you know, fairly balanced, of course, leaning to the punches. But that's the Gamora we know and love from comics, from movies. And, uh, you know, feels right to me, at least. Uh, she does have the, the wild, the double wild, of course. Her um, her specials come with a single move, single punch, single heroic. They're all the same, deadliest in the galaxy. So let, let's take a look at, at that. Each wild or punch token you spend this turn gets you an additional punch action. So, yeah, anything you can do to acquire tokens, which... This is the theme of all the Guardians of the Galaxy. They really like to do more stuff with their tokens. Uh, maybe not all, but most. Most of them like to do stuff with their tokens. Uh, Gamora definitely wanting to acquire the wilds and, and punches. And uh, here I think we can, we can go take a look at their locations. And if this loads properly. Yes, uh, we've got Morag here uh, where you can gain a wild token. We've got uh, Nowhere, where you can discard one action token to gain two action tokens of your choice between Move, Punch, and Heroic. So those two locations together make Gamora very powerful, uh, because again, this is each. So stack up two, three punches. Let, let's say three for the sake of from argument here. Three punch tokens. Each one gets you uh, an additional one. That's six punches. She's really a, a one, one shot. To a lot of uh, villains. I'm not going to say she's cheese. Because she's not. You have to do a lot of setup work. To get her to work as a character. I think she becomes more powerful. In two player games. Gamora is not going to be a great. Four player game character. She's just not going to have a lot of tokens. Or enough tokens. That being said, you also need characters who can feed her these tokens. Now, Star-Lord will do a little bit of that, and we'll, we'll talk about Star-Lord. Um, Rocket can do that to some extent, um, but Rocket does it more for himself. Groot also gives more cards, which can help. So what are you really looking for to partner Gamora? I think it's it's truly those locations, but it's also characters like Cap and Iron Man who are giving out wilds. I think that's just the way to play it. Gamora also benefits from having movement tokens. I, I know her abilities don't say movement tokens, but when you have a character with that much attack power. They don't need to attack more. They need to be able to get in the right position to execute that attack to, uh, to chase down the villain. Pairing them with a character like mm, Storm, who can move to anywhere, would actually be very helpful. Even a Quicksilver, Falcon... Uh, any character that lets you pick up and carry another one, or even anyone with double move, that's going to give Gamora the flexibility she needs to get places. That's why I appreciate that she has two move punch cards. I even don't despise the single move. Uh, I don't love it. I, I, will, I will never love that card. But it's helpful. And, and that's what's going to carry her through. And she has just enough heroics. Just enough. To not completely drag the team down. Um, she's going to be much better against villains. 
uh, who have a lot of henchmen, that's where she's going to shine because she is so punch dominant. Uh, you want somebody, I, I'd say, who's looking at four to five henchmen, the one to two threats, that's going to be her sweet spot. All right. Uh, but Gamora, overall, very strong character. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Until next time, brush up, keep brushing up your game. And, of course, if you have any comments, leave them in the, leave them for me, and I'll get back to you. Take care, everybody.